The individuals of greatest achievement tend to be those who have highly developed sexual natures and who have learned the art of sex transmutation. The mere possession of sex energy itself is not sufficient to produce genius. The energy must be transmuted from desire for merely physical contact into some other form of desire and action before it will lift one to the status of a genius. The 11th chapter of the book Think and Grow Rich, published in 1937 by Napoleon Hill, is dedicated to the mystery of sex transmutation. Sexual transmutation is a concept that finds its roots in ancient philosophies, particularly those of Eastern traditions such as Tantra and Taoism. These philosophies recognize the immense power of sexual energy and advocate for its conscious redirection towards spiritual growth, enlightenment, and higher states of consciousness. In the context of Napoleon Hill's teachings, sexual transmutation takes on a slightly different emphasis. While it still involves harnessing sexual energy, Hill applies this concept primarily within the framework of achieving success and wealth in the business world. His work Think and Grow Rich draws upon extensive research, including interviews with 500 of the wealthiest individuals of his time conducted over a period of two decades. From these interviews, Hill distilled 13 principles that he identified as essential to achieving extraordinary success and accumulating wealth. Among these principles, sexual transmutation occupies a significant place and is positioned as the 10th step towards attaining riches. While the concept may seem unconventional or esoteric to some, its inclusion in Think and Grow Rich underscores its significance as a potential tool for unlocking human potential and realizing one's aspirations for success. Napoleon Hill conceptualizes sex as both an energy and an emotion. He writes, Sex desire is the most powerful of human desires. When driven by this desire, men develop keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability unknown to them at other times. So strong and impelling is the desire for sexual contact that men freely run the risk of life and reputation to indulge it. When harnessed and redirected along other lines, this motivating force maintains all of its attributes of keenness of imagination, courage, which may be used as powerful creative forces in literature, art, or in any other profession or calling, including, of course, the accumulation of riches. Napoleon Hill highlights three primary benefits of the emotion of sex. First, the perpetuation of the human race. Then, its therapeutic value. And finally, its potential to transform average ability into genius through the process of transmutation. He explains that, when driven by sexual energy, individuals often experience heightened levels of persistence, creativity, and focus. Sexual energy is creative energy. He writes, It may be controversial contention, but sexual energy is the creative energy of virtually all geniuses. There never has been and never will be a great leader, builder, or artist lacking in this driving force of sex. He also explains that, one major reason why the majority of people who succeed do not begin to do so before the age of 40 to 50 is their tendency to dissipate their energies through overindulgence in the physical expression of the emotion of sex. So what does transmutation really mean? Well, it basically refers to the changing or transferring of one element or form of energy into another. In the case of sexual transmutation, it involves the shifting of the mind from thoughts of physical expression or gratification to thoughts of a different nature, ones that are conducive to personal or creative growth. Geniuses and individuals of exceptional achievement are believed to have mastered this art, whether consciously or unconsciously. So, by channeling sexual energy, individuals can use its transformative potential and tap into a wellspring of creative and motivational power. According to Napoleon Hill, the transmutation of sexual energy will help you unlock creative imagination. He explains that through the faculty of creative imagination, the finite mind of man has direct communication with infinite intelligence. Creative imagination is described as a sixth sense, and it is the faculty through which hunches and inspirations are received. 
It is by this faculty that all basic or new ideas are handed over to man. It is the gateway through which individuals can access profound insights, innovative ideas, and solutions to complex problems. The power of action. He writes, the emotion of sex is an irresistible force against which there can be no such opposition as an immovable body. When driven by this emotion, individuals become gifted with a superpower for action. Destroy the sex glands, whether in a human being or a beast, and you have removed a major source of action. The concept of the source of action and the ten mind stimuli, as outlined in Think and Grow Rich, provides a framework for understanding the various factors that motivate human behavior and drive individuals towards achievement and success. Central to this framework is the recognition that certain stimuli, both natural and constructive, have the power to stimulate the mind into action. And at the forefront of these stimuli is the desire for sex expression, which is identified as the most powerful motivator for human beings. Among the other nine mind stimuli, you can find love, money, music, friendship, a mastermind alliance, mutual suffering, auto-suggestion, fear, and finally, narcotics and alcohol. Personal magnetism. Napoleon Hill suggests that individuals with an abundance of sexual energy tend to possess a greater degree of personal magnetism. He defines magnetism as a combination of confidence, charm, charisma, and a strong presence that captivates those around them. He also identifies indicators that signal a high sexual energy in a person. First, there's the handshake. The touch of the hand indicates instantly the presence of magnetism, or the lack of it, the tone of someone's voice. Magnetism, or sex energy, is the factor with which the voice may be colored or made musical and charming. Posture and carriage of the body. Highly sexed people move briskly and with grace and ease. The vibrations of thought. Highly sexed people mix the emotion of sex with their thoughts, or may do so at will, and in that way may influence those around them. Body adornment. People who are highly sexed are usually very careful about their personal appearance. They usually select clothing of a style becoming to their personality and physique. Transmutation of sexual energy is not easy. For Napoleon Hill, transmutation of sex energy calls for more willpower than the average person cares to use for this purpose. Though this requires willpower, the reward for the practice is more than worth the effect. One tip I can give you is to not repress your sexual desires. The practice of sexual transmutation is not about escaping or denying one's sexuality, but rather about embracing it in a conscious and purposeful manner. Attempting to suppress sexual energy outright can lead to feelings of frustration, tension, and psychological distress. Napoleon Hill explains that the desire for sexual expression is inborn and natural. The desire cannot and should not be submerged or eliminated, but it should not be allowed to dominate or dictate one's behavior. Sexual energy has two outlets either to be used for sexual pleasure or to be transmuted for higher purposes. Napoleon Hill explains this perfectly. He says, A river may be dammed and its water controlled for a time, but eventually it will force an outlet. The same is true of the emotion of sex. If it is not transmuted into some creative effort, it will find a less positive, less productive outlet. Well, that is it for today's episode. As usual, if you have any remarks or questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to try to answer. Thank you guys for watching.